And don't ask God not to judge me, okay? Because, yes, I ain't got no makeup on. And, yep, I do have on a, um, some lipstick. And that's this new red color by e.l.f. called Rich Red. Mm -hmm. But because I'm getting all these dear stuff letters, <laughs> I got to keep up. So let me go and get y'all one tonight, okay? Dear stuff. Hey, Mrs. Steph, I love your perspective on things and I wanted some advice. You keep it all the way real. Mm -hmm. I have a best friend who I have been friends with since elementary days and we're like sisters. She's in a relationship and I feel iffy about it and here are some of the reasons why. She is 22, very independent, Christian young lady with a good head on her shoulders, morals and wise beyond her years, good job, car and place. Her new man is 31, lives with his mother, and no car, and jumps from job to job. He's a wonderful man, treats her well, and also is a Christian with morals. Even though he's great in so many ways, and she's so happy, I think of him as a grown boy because he seems so comfortable where he is in life. He says he wants to marry her and I have a fam and have a family, all the things that I know she wants, but I worry about him being able to lead her and their future children the way I know she was raised. Put it this way, she was raised on the upper class side of town. I know it's not all about the money, but I wonder if I should tell her how I'm feeling as her sister and present to her the red flags, or am I being extra and there is no red flags. I know people fall on hard times and all in this society, but I'm just a concerned friend. Her parents love him, but they don't know his whole situation. I'm not sure if she's embarrassed to tell them. I do know for a fact if her father knew, he wouldn't be happy because he believes men should be self-sufficient. He's very old school. Her parents are still together and her father was the provider and her mother took care of the home. P.S. Their love is amazing to see and it definitely goes. They are celibate till marriage. I just love her and I want the best for her. There definitely needs to be more men like him and I can honestly say that it's just the little things that worry me. I'm not saying she can't take care of herself and she needs a man to take care of her, but if he wants to be with her, he needs to be able to provide for her. What do you think? Well, like you said, your friend has a good head on her shoulders and it seems like she has everything going right for her. She even has a good man. However, the whole part about you being 31 and you still sitting at the house or living with your mama, that ain't so good. And the fact that you really don't have like job security. So it's like, you know, you jump from house to house or I mean, no, job to job. I'm sorry, y'all, that is bothering me. You jumping from job to job. How is that establishing and creating stability for a wife? And then to add on to that layer of family. Like, I mean, that part, I definitely think like he needs to work on and he needs to get that together before he talking about marrying somebody and then creating a family because how the family going to get taken care of? Okay. About you being a friend and saying something to her about it. If you guys are as close as you say you are and you're like sisters, take it from me, take it from me, take it from me. Withholding information is not always the best thing. And I'm telling you based off of experience. I have felt a certain way about certain things in the past and I didn't say anything to my friend and I just let things just fester and just build up and then it just came a day where I just went off or you know something came off as being mean or rude. So I do feel like if you and her have that type of relationship Definitely sit her down and, you know, tell her what you see. And it's basically you looking at her life or her looking at her life through somebody else's eyes. Now, what she does with that information, that's on her. All you can say is that, you know, you did your part by sharing and talking and discussing this um your concerns with her and you know just pointing out some things now 
you mentioned something about her being embarrassed and not telling her parents about the whole situation with him not working, him staying with his mama, yet basically her family loves him. Her parents, they love him and, you know, they like him and they feel like he's a good fit for their, for their daughter. However, if they knew that little tidbit information, like you said, her daddy wouldn't be too happy about that. I know the hell I wouldn't be, okay? So, with that part, that's definitely something that you need to point out. If she's so gung-ho happy and she doesn't care about what other people think, why isn't she telling her parents that piece right there? I agree. It's not all about the money. However, I do feel like the man wants to be treated like the king of the castle. You know what? You're going to have to step up and you're going to have to take care of the family like you're the king of the castle. Because I can't be the queen and wearing the king's pants and doing everything, okay? Mm-mm. Can't do that, okay? So... Definitely sit her down, express your feelings, and tell her, you know, it's coming from a place of love. And you have to be careful about how you deliver this to her. Because if you deliver it the right way, it can be taken well. If you deliver it the wrong way, you could put a riff in your friendship. And I'm pretty sure that's not what you want. So I definitely will say, be careful about how you deliver it. You can tell somebody the worst thing, but if you say it in the nicest way, they will be okay with it. Example, you could be like, fuck you, bitch. People might not take that so personal unless you, you know, unless you came at them abruptly and you was like, you know what, fuck you, bitch. You can change the whole outcome of the situation when it's the delivery that matters, okay? Just saying, experience, experience. I told you in the past, I ain't been the most tactful person, and it's definitely something I have had to learn, a skill, a trait. I've had to learn it, and I've gotten better. But I think once I left corporate America, I just think that, like, it just, the lip the lid just flew back off you know it just it i don't have to contain and tame myself anymore i just can just be 100 me now depending on the people who i love yeah i'm gonna pay attention to how i deliver stuff but the one thing i'm not gonna do is i'm not gonna lie and i'm not a good sugar coater i'm not i just don't see how you can sugarcoat shit and i don't deliver Bullshit. You feel me? Hmm. So, I hope I answered your question and I'm leading you in the right direction. Be a friend. Be a sister. Step to her about it. But be careful about how you deliver it and be careful with your words. Okay? I hope this helps. See you later. If you guys continue to like these type of videos, please be sure to thumbs up share the video share the wisdom share the ministry okay share the girl talk and be sure to if you guys have questions as well be sure to email me at eclectmista at yahoo.com and i will get right back to you as soon as i can because y'all know i am a busy woman okay okay see y'all in the next video bye